A Uyghur woman named Zumra Dawood is often featured on the Western media. She claims that she was detained in a re-education camp and that her father died while being detained by the Xinjiang government. That we found Zumra's brothers in Rumachi and they denied her claims. I have five siblings, and among us, I'm the closest to her. I was with him when he died. And what did your father die of? Heart disease. He died at the age of 84. But you know she hasn't been to a training center, but she claims she has. What do you think about that? I don't know what she is thinking. I think she is too naive. When she was outside China, maybe someone told her to say that. It seems that to do a Western media report, all you need to do is scrape together a few bits of unfounded reports, dreadful tale to spin, and a sympathetic figure like Zumrat Dawood. These people, and it's, it's just, they're telling, quote, a personal tale, but you cannot verify that it's true. Are there abuses happening in Xinjiang? I believe it 100%. But the people who are responsible for that, if they're caught, they will be sent to prison. So this idea that the government is encouraging sadists to torture children and mothers and grandmothers and just beat them for no reason doesn't even make sense. Not given what China has accomplished and done. You know, the journalists who go to Xinjiang, they always seem to report on what they've concluded before arriving, rather than reporting on what they actually see on the ground with their own eyes. And I've interacted with one of these journalists who visited the vocational training centers in Xinjiang. And he described them as being like Nazi concentration camps, where weirdly the prisoners, so to speak, could go home on the weekends. But he also said that he saw people in cages now, this particular journalist produced a number of videos, so I asked him to point me towards the ones that would show this. And he kept dodging the question before finally admitting he didn't actually see people in cages. 